Hello guys, the last thing I want to talk to you about in this course is about this CIS controls, okay? This is provided by this organization here, Center for Internet Security. These controls will help you to make your system and your network secure. For better understanding of this, let me just click here to this video. One minute video. The CIS okay. controls provide a prioritized path to improve an enterprise's cybersecurity program. Version 8 includes some exciting updates to keep up with the ever changing cyber ecosystem. The CIS controls are now task focused and combined by activities rather than by who manages the devices, decreasing the number of CIS controls from 20 to 18. The 18 controls contain 153 safeguards, which were formerly known as subcontrols. Safeguards are still prioritized into implementation groups, or IGs, with IG1 defining basic cyber hygiene. The updated CIS controls point to existing standards and recommendations. SafeCode was a key contributor to the application software security control. Along with VA, supporting information, products, and services are updated and available to help you with implementation. Learn more about CIS Controls version 8 by visiting cisecurity.org. Alright, so this CIS Controls will help you to implement the best practice of security, okay? You'll find this document, the version 8. Let's go and see this document. This is the document and here IG1, IG2 and IG3. This is regarding the, the size of your organization, okay? And here you will see the structure and implementation group. We have here the group one, group two, group three. You will see, read here, and according to the size of your organization, it will help you, right? This document is very important because it will help you to implement the best practice of security in your network and organization, okay? According to the standard, this document was designed according, according to the standards and according to the newest cyber attacks, okay? That's why it's, it's very important. It will help you with inventory control of enterprise assets and much more. And as you can see here, you have the overview. And here you will find the reason why this is this control is critical. They will explain you. And here, the procedures and tools they will suggest you, you can use to make your system safe. And here you have the safeguards you will see here, but this is the document just to understand it. Okay, as you can see here, we have the inventory for software. You need to control what software is installed in your users' computers and much more. Here we will find too many information that will help you. I work on this in my company, but unfortunately, because of security reason, I cannot share the document. Okay, this one is just to you to understand, but there is an Excel document that you will find there in the support documentation of this course. And here you will see in this Excel document, this Excel document is provided by CIS, Center for Internet Security. Okay, here you will have the introduction and here you have the license for use, important resources. And here controls, you will find this document here. As you can see here, you have the control, the safeguard, the asset type, okay, if it is a device, application, or data. And here you have the security function, identify, respond, what that solution will be doing, okay? And as you can see here, identify, respond, detect, protect, all right? And here you have the title. For example, here is for inventory, the control of enterprise assets. And if you scroll down, you will see more, more information here, data protection. And it means this section here will talk about data protection. And here you will see all of these points here. And according to that, according to the explanation, to the description of the, the protection they suggest you to implement, you will come to these columns here, these three columns, and you will mark, for example, for you, if you are uh, IG1 or IG2 or IG3, according to the size of your organization, okay, you will need to select here. This, I suggest you to do this in a group, okay? Don't do this, even if you are the uh, at network administrator, don't do this. It's better to fill these documents with another colleagues, okay? People with different know-how, different backgrounds, all right so here you can add one column and call it comments for example okay you can add here one column and put it here 
comments and what you will do here this is the way we did when we was working with the document and the version was version 7 and this is the last last one the version 8 okay here this you will decide this with your team all right you can schedule a weekly meetings for example to discuss about it and here for example inventory and control enterprise asset and here you will decide you need to mark the the size of your organization the group that you belongs to and here the comment according to the description you will see if the solution proposed will work for you or not and if you have another solution or you are using you just need to type here for example okay you you just need to type here what solution you want to implement and you will do this for all of these for inventory for data protection security configuration of enterprise asset and software you will do this for all of this this will guide you to control your account management and so on all right after you see and work on this document, you will know what will be the best option or the best security procedures for your organization. All right. I hope you understood this. So this is the end of our course. Please feel free to contact me if you have any doubt. You can ask me anything you want. OK, let's keep in contact. All right. So I hope you enjoyed the course. If you have suggestion to the course or something you would like to see here to improve this course, please just send me an email or just test me. Thank you for your time in this journey. I hope this course was very benefit for you and I hope you use it in your workly day, in your job, in your projects. All right. So how we used to say in Portuguese, obrigado. Thank you.